When a child feels successful, the emotions and the feelings and the level of confidence that is stirred within is really just the beginning of what comes later. There, it's, it's, it ignites a wonder of learning, a sense of curiosity. And when a child in our classroom, or in any classroom, feels success repeatedly over and over and over, they become empowered of their own learning. To where our job really is done, it's not done, but it is done, because they will come back for more. You know, you hear all the time that um, kids learn about 70% before they enter the adult world at schools, right? So if you think about that, they're learning about life through their families, through their siblings, through their churches, through media. But the bulk of what they learn is here. And it reminds me how important Frederica is to these families. I would say Frederica Academy is the best education you can get in this area. It's the only school uh, from Jacksonville to Savannah to Valdosta that has the opportunity for a family to educate their child from the beginning of their education all the way through the new transition into college. The academics are strong, they're solid. We offer honors courses as well as AP courses. Students can begin taking those courses as early as freshman year. It's definitely student-centered. There are teachers at the front of the room, but it's not a lot of lecture-based instruction that's happening. We don't teach subjects. We teach children. We are very much a hands-on school, and so students are really encouraged to ask a lot of questions and, and to challenge. We are able to stop, adjust, reassess, reteach, and really give kids what they need before pushing them on to the next. I don't see myself as a teacher, but really as a partner with families, I'm trying to raise these children to be productive and virtuous citizens. They say it takes a village to raise a child, and we really work together as a team, as parents and teachers, to um, enrich the mind, body, and spirit of every child that comes through these doors. And I actually do think the faculty's biggest legacy to kids is they like what they do, they have gratitude for what they do, and they radiate a confidence uh, about the world around them. I find my teachers to be one of the biggest reasons that I really like Frederica because they really, I know every teacher says this, but they really are in there to help you succeed. The teachers are like probably the best part. Like they're very, they care about their students. It's a certain bond. You don't really think that you have a bond with your teacher, but it, there is a bond there. Everyone's really nice here and all the teachers are really understanding. Very kind and generous. But also our teachers know our kids. So they know when our students are having a bad day or if they're off or something is not right and they ask and our students have such a great relationship with our teachers that they're not afraid to share with them. When I see things click with students, whether it's mind, body, or spirit, it just gives me a a joy and a peace and a goosebump that I've never had before. And the best part is at the end of class, and they'll say, thank you, Miss Graham. And then sometimes they say, I love you, Miss Graham. You can't get that everywhere. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Academics is really important here at Frederica, but it's not the only thing that we look to build for our children. We also promote the arts. 
We look at developing their music, understanding, um, promoting interest in taking up an instrument. When I see kids engaged in the art, I see these eager little minds who are wanting to move and share emotion and share their feelings through any way possible. The arts are very much a part of the cultural life here at Frederick Academy, and there are many traditions that the students look forward to year after year. We provide all kinds of tools to help them find themselves and flourish in whatever interests, explore new interests. When a student really connects with the arts, at any age, they really open up into their own humanism, who they are as a person, how they can express themselves. And you definitely want to come here for just different ex unique experiences that you can't get elsewhere. I love that middle school has Carpe Vitam and they take the kids off for a week and they spend time with them. At health and wellness and really encourage the, our children to get active and to play a sport. We have 13 varsity teams. I hope good here in just a little bit. And 13 middle school teams. We have uh, two club sports that we also help sponsor uh, during the year. So here at Frederick we have a no-cut policy, which allows over 90% of our students to be a part of some type of athletic event throughout the middle school and the high school. And so I just love that anyone and everyone can do it, and everyone feels welcome to try. But like, I love the spirit that the school has. And for example, homecoming week, it's so spirited and so exciting, and all the students are so happy about homecoming. They're very excited about their school events, that's for sure. <laughs> If you walk into Corn Hall, above Corn Hall is carved into the stone up there. It says, to whom much is given, much is expected. Um, I think that is what our kids understand by the time they graduate from here. Frederica today is in large part designed to serve our present clientele and preparing them for the world of tomorrow. And most of our families, that's primarily what they care about. I tell you, when Manning got to Georgia, she said, I get it, Mom. I get it. I am completely and utterly overwhelmed, and not overwhelmed in a bad way. I mean overwhelmed with joy and excitement and happiness that these past 14 years have been the best 14 years of my life. I feel like Frederica has definitely prepared me for college. I feel so prepared. It feels crazy that like it's here now, but I feel like I've been like waiting for this for so long that I'm so ready. I'm just so excited that I'm going somewhere to do something great, and I know that Frederick has prepared me for it. And so I think you're looking at kids who are walking out into the college and adult world prepared to be able to lend a hand, prepared to be able to um, make the community better that they're in. That is a well-rounded education. It's not about math, it's about how you treat people and how you solve problems, and that's what we're trying to teach our kids to do. This is important work. I have the luxury to be able to choose whether I want to work or not, and I choose to work here because I think these children's lives are important. I think the faculty having a healthy workplace to, to, to be at is important, and I want to be a comfort and an inspiration to families in this area that we are doing a business that is important and will dramatically alter the trajectory of their kids' lives. Part of the reason I walk to campus is to be serious about my responsibility to understand that a child could actually travel at Frederica for most of their formative life. And that really strikes you as the increased responsibility and it was incumbent on you to be an educational institution. And so my biggest impression walking to campus and why I do it is to try to understand uh, the full responsibility of the school to make sure that we take care of these kids.